this is a 105 liter tank. Uh, I just moved all these fish and all these plants and all the gravel and the two sponge filters from another larger tank that I'm selling. So everything in, in there is brand new. I think it's been running a couple of days. See the plants? They're all kind of black and not looking well. Um, my question, like I asked in the other one, is of course I don't need two sponge filters in there. One is probably enough. And I could probably hook up one of my other canister filters, but my electricity bill is too high. So I'm probably just going to run this one of these sponge filters. But anyways, since I don't really care that there are two in there right now, but what I care about is my uh, plants getting healthy and growing again. So with the way that plants consume CO2 during the day and produce it during the night, and since the bubbles agitating the surface decreases the CO2, would I want to turn my uh, bubbles off, my surface agitation off during the um, <laughs> I keep on I keep on forgetting this because <laughs> I'm dumb um, so let's see I want them to consume CO2 during the day so I don't want my bubbles on during the day I want them at night uh, turned on when the plants are producing the CO2 and I'm assuming it doesn't store up in the water but anyways what do you think do you think that turning off the surface agitation like that is going to affect my CO2 levels because all my tests when I'm running it with this much surface agitation on this and the two other tanks that are pretty much the same way they have sponge filter and a canister filter all the CO2 levels are below 15 which is not good for plants so um, I thought I'd check and see what you think if anybody has managed their CO2 levels by turning off and on uh, surface agitation you know like these sponge filters uh, instead of adding CO2